According to NASA, a giant asteroid, Apophis, is already on its close approach to Earth. It was discovered by astronomers at the Kitt Peak National Observatory in Arizona in June 2004. It is named after the the Egyptian god of chaos, Apep, or Apophis. After its orbit was sufficiently well calculated, it received the permanent number 99,942. As per the estimation, the average orbital speed of asteroid is around 30.728 km per second. The diameter of Apophis is estimated to be approximately 370 meters and to give you a sense of scale, the Eiffel Tower in Paris is 324 meters tall. It is well known from the Tunguska event that, how damaging an impact of asteroid with half the size of Apophis could cause. It was on the morning of the 30th of June 1908, an asteroid at a speed of 33,500 miles per hour plunged down from space and exploded above a remote forest in Siberia, near the Podkamenaya Tunguska River. The explosion flattened an estimated 80 million trees over an area of 2,150 square kilometers of forest. It is estimated that the shock wave from the air burst trembled the earth and smashed windows in the nearest town over 60 km. As the area was sparsely inhabited, fortunately no one died as a direct result of explosion. If that asteroid hit just few hours after, then it would have hit over Europe and million people would have died. Later studies revealed that the blast produced around 185 times more energy than the atomic bomb exploded in Hiroshima and the size of the asteroid was estimated between 50 to 190 meters and this is just the half the size of Apophis that is heading to Earth. As per the current prediction, on 13 April 2029 Apophis will pass just within 19,000 miles from Earth's surface. That is almost 10 times closer than Moon and even closer than some of our communication satellite orbiting the Earth. People would be able to see the asteroid go by air with naked eyes. That might sound too scary, but scientists are positive that it will not hit Earth in 2029. But if Apophis passes exactly 18,893 miles, it may pass through the gravitational keyhole, a narrow region in space where Earth's gravity would pull the asteroid closer to Earth. That would set up a deadly blow in future exactly seven years later on April 13, 2036. If it hits Earth, then it explodes with a force of over 1 million megatons of TNT. Studies by NASA, European Space Agency and various research groups have described a number of proposals for deflecting Apophis or similar objects. Few of them are gravitational tractor, kinetic impactor, and nuclear bomb methods. A gravity tractor is a theoretical spacecraft that would deflect a potentially hazardous asteroid in space using its own gravitational field. A kinetic impactor is basically a type of spacecraft projectile that can be launched at the asteroid that forcefully deflect the direction of the asteroid. Other way is to explode the asteroid with a nuclear bomb, but that risks pelting the planet with radioactive particles. Space agencies and scientists from across the world are working together to find a possible solution to either destroy or to change the direction of such big asteroids. So let us wait and see which solution will exactly protect us from asteroids before they snare in the Earth's gravitational pull. In your opinion which technology will safeguard us from these deadly giants? If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to receive the notification of new interesting videos.